Hello guys, it's another moment. I'm coming live from East Africa, Kenya, deep in the village. Village boy Moses 2M over here. I'm feeling so good and things are amazing. I promise to bring different videos for you that brings encouragement, we empower and also to entertain. Welcome back. Keep on watching the videos. I know a lot of people are watching. Maybe it's morning, evening and afternoon from your area, wherever you are watching live from. Most welcome to this channel. Today I want to give you an amazing video because I wasn't aware. I've been passing a... a, a through this road here but i've been seeing this ground here you can see the black net over there there's an amazing job that has been done here i'm so happy because i've just met the site manager over here and would like to have on board so, him on board so that he explained to us what's happening and may know more about it do you love agriculture personally agriculture is my favorite that's my food you know 90 percent backbone of the country depends on agriculture, agriculture. yeah exactly. because you cannot have food on the table without having uh, like in Kenya, we must have ugali, vegetable matzilea. Even fish come from agriculture. So welcome back. Let's introduce here himself, and we know what is being here. Hello, sir. Yeah, how, are hi, you? how are you? I'm very fine. Yeah. I'm happy to meet you this moment. You know, it's our first time meeting, yeah. but the the work that you've been doing keeps me so happy. And I said, no, let's uh, share it with other people so that they know what you are doing. Let me know your name. Uh, my name is Kennedy Jaoko. Kennedy Jaoko. Right now. From where? From <laughs> Wanyama. Oh, you are coming so, from the within the community of Exactly. Here. But you look where, like where, where you're you standing. Look, you look like a Jamaican. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm pure. I'm Jaluo and Ali. Oh. So the way we are standing is home. Oh, so this your home. Yes. Uh, Mr. Jaoko, I love whatever you are doing, but the only thing I'd like to ask, how long have you been doing this and what are you doing before we go into it? What are you doing? Uh, you are specifically on which line on what do you love or what are you doing right here uh, right here we are an agricultural enterprise yeah um, we are trying to go back to the soil yeah to show the people around the community around that there is money to be had from udongo yeah <laughs> is it true that we have money in the soil down here mm. underground? Is it true that there's money? Agriculture, I see it might bring a lot of changes in the community. Mm. I would like to ask some few questions. Being that we are right now we are in your farm over here, yeah. I see the black net that has run from the other end to the other end. Yeah. You know, I was just walking because uh, I built my home very soon, still new, and I want more trees to plant there. So yeah. I was coming here thinking that it's just a small portion of seedling, mm. but I'm a I'm surprised it's because a huge place. it's a very huge, huge place yeah. with very, very many things over it. Yes. I just want us to start from here because like this the entrance as we go to the other side. Yes. What's happening here and which kind of uh, projects are you doing in this farm of yours? Because I see, I can see water, things like fish pond and other things. So yes. let me know. So this is how it all started. Yeah. This project. Yeah of tree seedling yeah. is a one acre fund project uh -huh. so i was lucky enough to get a contract with them uh -huh. whereby we raised three seedlings on their behalf yes and during the distribution time the one acre fund distributes the tree seedlings to farmers in the region for free in the yeah. region yeah in the region wow so this one is Ranen station yes where we cover from day day to a window to, to a window. Chamgiwadu to Obama culture. Yeah, right? yeah. That side. Okay, those are the areas are uh, within these localities trying to mention our local names. So yes. you might not understand, but kindly, we are sorry for that. Let's continue the video. So farmers in that region can come here during the distribution period and get 30 tree, uh, 30 tree seedlings for free. And if they require any more than 30, then they will buy at only 5 shillings. We also have uh, medicinal plants like Moringa and... Uh, neem tree we have fruits like uh, lemon lime and uh, pie pie and passion fruit oh. this year we are really going the one acre fund has really gone uh, an extra mile so when this project was started in order for me to get this contract from one acre fund i needed a water source you need a water source i can see a water source over here. exactly so yes. that prompted me to dig my first water source yes so this was water which i harvested rain harvesting through uh, kutoka kwa 
all through your roof to up yes. to here to here uh -huh. so this pond was to supplement this uh, borehole borehole so, it's kind of complicated i don't yes. so from which one which one was the first step is it borehole or the rainwater first of all the, the 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 situation was water source water source you needed in water in order for, for me to get this project you needed water i needed water uh, yes so <laughs> this this one was to complement this one. This one here, okay. Yes. So no when, water. When, when they came, do, do, do I have a water source? I said, yes, I have a well. You have and a well. I have dug and you a have pond, dug a pond. A dam. Yes, a dam. Yes. yes. Which I get water from rain, rain water harvesting. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I see. So when, when, when they had that, yes. very quickly, and I'm very close to the main road. Exactly. They gave me you the are project. So close to the road, and I think this is gonna build up your marketing. Yes. Oh, uh, this is the second year of me doing this. Uh -huh. So last year was fantastic. We had a lot of farmers who came here. So because of the closeness and uh, having all the requirements that they had, uh, they uh, I had, they gave me the contract. This question might be irrelevant to you. Mm. Do you do fit inside this pond over here? No. Once we, once we started the project, I have a water source. Yes. So the first year, we did what? We watered the yeah. my seedlings, seedlings during the dry season. Yes. And all of this got finished. Oh. He, he, yeah, I yeah, remember he, last year we had a we had a very high dry season. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So all of this dried up. Yes. In fact, it is that one. That the, was the one I had. That was the first year. one. That was the first one. Oh, yeah. So when it dried up, I dug a second one. You dug a second one? And during the long rains, they both got full. Yes. So I said, now, since I've got water which I have accumulated here, and uh, uh, watering of this thing will happen next year, January, February, yes. why don't I put fish inside? So, so that is when I introduced fish into So you pond. mean you are facing this yes, pond here? Yeah, fish inside. Guys, you do you think it's a pretty there. idea? That I love there, that. There, there. Yeah, I can see yeah, some. Do you know why I detected it might have fish because mm. of this one? Too. I don't oh. know how do we call this. Net. This net here. Yes. Wow. But I see you are being affected with the water hyacinth. Or what? what Not what, me what being it? affected. I am the one who wanted water hyacinth <laughs> to come in. I took it from Homer Bay and brought it here. So you went to Homer Bay, then you Collected bring this. the gunia of hyacinth and I put them in my Give pot. me the benefit of water hyacinth. Uh, one 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 is that it is uh, used as a water This is the tailor. water hyacinth, if I may say, this yes. one here. You see, this is the water hyacinth. Let me know. It is used as a water cleaner. It removes toxins or excess nutrients from oh, the water. Okay. As you know, the nutrients are algae. And algae uh, consumes uh, oxygen during the daytime. Yes. Uh, uh, no, algae releases oxygen during the daytime yeah through photosynthesis yes and at night it consumes oxygen oxygen which is supposed to be for the fish so we don't want too much algae inside the water so we put water hyacinth to control uh, the level of algae in the water wow. so that during the night time uh, when oxygen levels in the water is at the lowest between min midnight and uh, midday the next day the the Algae is controlled. You are so creative. Did you did agriculture? No, or? no, no. This is all YouTube. What do you mean? I'm Yego, Yego. Upando agriculture. Mimi ni Yego agriculture. Sasa. You have been learning this through YouTube. YouTube. Yes. Do you have YouTube channel? Uh, no. I Why? I don't have a YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's Why? Because I am seeing because, uh, because I'm a bit advanced in age. Uh, no, so no, 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 technology no, 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 I want you to give me a uh, comment down there on the comment. So I'm trying to find out because he must have a YouTube channel. People, YouTube channel is not uh, like, uh, does not have age limit. Mm. Whether you are 100 years, mm. why did you watch, when did you watch that? When you were young or at this age? Uh, at this age, right? This, age, yes. this means yeah. you are able to have your own channel. Let me tell you, it's not about having your face maybe on the camera, but the way you are, uh, you are you are so creative and whatever you are doing, this is what we need it on YouTube. Mm. Will you think it will be more uh, better if you also do it so that someone can learn it from your channel? Well, 
Because is, you like it true about somebody's time. That is true. You know, this is an initial... I mean, so we can say that this is an initial phase of whatever projects I'm putting them on. There are so much... There are many other projects that I want to undertake. So I want that to succeed first. No, I want to tell you this. I want it to succeed first. Uh, like my fish pond, fish, fish situation here, it is an experiment. It is a trial. I am not well conversant, but I am learning as we are going on. I am learning about fish, fish farming. YouTube so, does. Yeah. So in due time, once I become, once I've uh, assimilated all the YouTube knowledge and I have put it in practical use, then I can now teach others. No. I want to tell you this. <laughs> Whatever let you know how you have, you start doing YouTube. I'll, I'll be happy to create your YouTube channel if you allow me so that you have a YouTube channel. It, it's not a hard work. The only thing I'm doing over here, after this video, we post it and we, we sleep. Mm. Let people watch. Let mm. people follow whatever you are doing. Mm. It's very simple. Mm. But it will be more better so that one day, one time, your grand-grandchildren will say, no, this is what Grandy was doing. This is mm. so amazing. It will remain That's in the what. YouTube until I want you time. to start YouTube channel in mm. Jesus' name. Let's Amen. continue as... We are going to talk about this, having YouTube channel for you because you have a smartphone, I see. Yeah, I do. Whenever you are doing your activities in the morning, just do explain it and then post. We need to watch it. We need to know. Let's proceed. And I want to I wanna visit your farm right now, but just come here. You explain for me what's happening over here. I don't know which are these ones. Ah. Uh, this is, uh, what is this called? Uh, this is, uh, uh, what is it called? Is it a cotton? Uh, not cotton. Poly, 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 poly thing. No. <laughs> I don't know how, do, how do they call it. Uh, uh, fiber, fiber. Fiber, yeah. exactly. This is this fiber. fiber. Uh -huh. This is fiber. So what I'm using the fiber for is for filtration. Okay. I've made my own filtration where I put it inside the water. Uh, the pump sucks in the water. All the dirt which is in the water, as you can see, this is really dirty now. Yeah, I see this really yes. dirty. Yes. It was in the it was in the in the fish pond, so it it's a filter sort of, so okay. it filters the water for me, and uh, the fresh water comes back in, creating aeration and circulation of water, which is very good for the fish. So uh, as I'm saying, these are all YouTube things, so that is why I'm still waiting to get my first harvest, and see if it is come uh, in Indiana Missouri. Yeah. I want us to start doing YouTube and we post on your channel. In fact, I'll, I might sacrifice my time, sacrifice my time to come over here, we do videos with you, then you post them because I want you to have a channel. That's the reality. A lot of things nowadays, you know, uh, I used to say that very soon you'll just uh, wake up and the man, they say no school. Why? People will be learning through online. You remember Corona fish? Yes. People yes. are learning things through YouTube and online, social media at all. So the only thing is you need to be creative. I have a question for you. Because of this, I see your place where you are living right now. It's a place where it might get dry so hard sometimes. Yes. But do you, are you going to tell me that I, we can uh, do fish farming even in the dry areas through doing this? Because you know some people who are coming next to the how do you say this place is where we have a lot of water or the this muddy areas like someone living Sian. next to the river Sian. Yes, 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 yes. These people are just just digging it and then they do ah. without doing this black polythene bag. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, those ones you would find most of them are using uh, earthen ponds. Yeah. Earthen ponds don't use this. They just use the clay. In yeah, such the, areas, yeah. you will find that that area is uh, very, there's a lot of clay. Yeah. And clay does not allow water to seep away very quickly. Oh. So those are what we call earthen ponds. Oh, uh, they, those they, they are called earthen ponds. Uh, earthen ponds, made of earth. So Guys, I'm what, learning, I'm learning, I'm yeah. learning here. So yeah. you, don't need, you don't need the dam liner in such areas. So the, those, that is the earthen pond. So, so this is called dam liner? Dam liner, yes. Okay. Dam liners. So wow. this one we put it where where the um, well close by we can we, we're not restricted where we can put the the dam liners next to the home. 
bit of far away. I'm learning a lot of things. And you know, I'm wondering, I'm shocked if you're telling me all this knowledge, you find it through YouTube. Yeah, it's Let's YouTube. go and see your seedlings as we end up the video, guys. Yeah, please, go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering, I'm so amazed because I'm truly, I've been challenged over here. I wasn't aware that he has all this knowledge doing this kind of project over here. Guys, we need to get back to work. East Africa, live from Kenya, guys. This was happening. Then... The manager behind this will let me know more. Explain to me what's happening here. Uh, this is what we call Casorina. So this, this Casorina? Tree, yeah, it's called Casorina. Yes. Or the other name for it is Whispering Pine. Whispering Pine? Yeah, this whistling one here. Pine, whistling. Whi whistling Pine. Yeah, Nile. I know, I, I, I know, yeah, 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 yeah. we call it Obudo in my local yeah. language. Yeah. Obudo. Obudo. The uh, matter is also Obudo, Cyprus. That's that Cypress. Cypress, that one. This is uh, Pinus Pitula. Pinus Pitula? Yes. Then oh. we have Acacia there. Acacia, you know Acacia? I know Acacia. Acacia tree. Yeah, it's a savanna tree. This good, one, good, this one is the Acacia? Yes. Okay. Then we have, uh, here we have assorted with the uh, Neem tree Marbaini. Wow. In fact, I need to have this. Yes, neem tree, marubaini. I need to have some because marubaini, it's that kind of tree that cures 40 diseases in the body. If you watched my video recently, the time I was looking for baby mare and some of uh, uh, traditional drug medicine, this one of them, this one over here. Wow. Then okay. we have macadamia. This ma macand M macadamia. <laughs> macadamia. Jugungumu. When I eat on a skin, I eat on jugungumu. Here, macad uh, macadamia. Macadamia. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's this... a it's a nut. Uh huh. Uh, ninjugu inato anjugu. So uh, how also. how long does it take to be mature? Uh, grafted one. When it's grafted, it should take around uh, five years. Five years. Three to three to five years. Yes. If it is not grafted, it might go longer than that. Longer than that. Yeah. Wow. These ones are not yet grafted. I presume we will get them grafted soon. You know, I'm going to come here with my wife because she told me when you are going there, you must come up with a grafted mango, grafted uh, orange, a lot of things was telling me. So I just left home. I didn't tell her that I'll visit you. But very soon we are coming here with her and we'll do a video and we'll post that video on your channel so that you start your doing your YouTube channel. Because there are a lot of people, the truth is a lot of people are waiting for your video so that they can learn and gain something. That's the reality. And again, YouTube has different benefits. It will be your source of income. Who knows? That's the reality. Yes. Let's proceed. Over there we have uh, moringa. So Did this, you know moringa? this moringa. You know, I've been I've been hearing people talking about moringa, but I personally I have I have never tasted moringa. So this moringa. Yes, that is moringa. It's also famous like uh, neem tree. Neem tree. It's a medicinal plant. Okay. Medicinal tree. Okay. Yeah. Then over there we have uh, lem, lime. Lime. Let lime. me go. Just so Dim. my audience. Dim. Oh, this lime. Yes. Also awaiting. Are you going to do grafting on there? Yes. Also awaiting to be grafted. We are still waiting for it to reach around 15, 15 centimeters height, so that they can be grafted. Okay. Yes. So this line is for the lime tree. This is the section for lime. Lime. Yes. Amazing, guys. Yeah. Then Things here, are really changing. We need here we have gravelia. This is what I was coming here to buy, guys. Yes. And unfortunately, they are still very, very yeah. young. So this one, you can't keep it to go. So you have told me in the next two years. Yeah, in the next uh, no, four, two, weeks, two, four weeks. Yeah, in the next four weeks, they will be ready. They will be ready. Yeah. And also, we advise farmers not to take them when they are too tall. I'll you beg know? you. Pardon that, because yeah. farmers might not know. Yeah, do, don't take them when they are too big. Because you will see that in this one, eh, when they come normally, they will come and they'll find the root is sticking out yeah. of the juala. Uh -huh. And it is gone so inside. Polythene, yeah? yeah, it's uh, penetrated the polythene and gone into the soil. Yes. At that time, it will be around this height. So when you remove it, you know, you're technically, you're, you're going to cut, the going to technical cut. word for it is pruning. Pruning. Yeah. So you have pruned the roots. So when you go to plant it where you are taking it, establishing, for it to establish is a bit difficult. But when you take it at this height, 
95% it will establish and cut off. But when you take it when the roots have stuck out and the, the tall tree, the, you want farmers you normally want them when they are huge, the tree has reached about one feet or so. Mm -hmm. For it to establish, you need a lot of water. So you need to plant it in the onset of heavy rains. That's when you're that sort of tree. But this one can survive even when you use at the onset, just at the beginning of the rainy season, where the rain is in a kuja mara moja, yeah. in a pote. Yeah, the rain comes once and goes. Like in the ile ingine ukichukua kama imekuwa mde, when it's too big, yeah. eh, then there's a likelihood it might not um, establish very quickly. I would like to so ask are, hmm. this question. I've seen a lot of people in my community, they mostly uh, invest on uh, Graveria than uh, the other one. How, how do you call it in there again? Uh, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Yes. What's the difference and why? Well, in our region here, I've, I have noticed that people prefer eucalyptus to Gravelia. Why? Because eucalyptus is known for timber. It grows very quickly. It's very fast growing. And the timber is good. Selling it when you want to... Uh, um, Sell it as timber, it has got demand. Gravelia, on the other hand, is also a tree which is uh, can be used for timber, but it, its uses in as uh, timber is very little. Naskia yeah. unatumia kwa pressure pressure board. Yeah, pressure yeah, board. Yeah. Pressure board. Yeah. Ndo inatumika na labda bitu zingine kidogo kidogo. And it also it's a slow grower. It grows very slowly. So you advise and encourage people to dwell much in eucalyptus? Than now, area. if you're planting eucalyptus, then plant it separate from, away from farmland, maybe on top of a hill. Eh? If you're staying on top of a hill, their side, you can plant eucalyptus, or very near the river side, or the, near the lake, near water source. That one likes uh, a lot of water. And you will be able to get pata ma pato yake vizuri sana. Yeah. Lakini if you are near farmland like us, and you know as we are going older, and as generation, land is becoming smaller and smaller. So, so, so and we are still cultivating our land. Then if you plant uh, eucalyptus in farmland, you are basically stripping that land of any agricultural produce you will get. Because eucalyptus na maize, any uh, agricultural product that you grow near eucalyptus trees does not do well at all, at all, at all. Yeah. So, gravelia, it's okay. You can plant gravelia along the farmland. You can, you can use gravelia to subdivide your farmland. It does not, they can grow. I mean, you, you can have timber, it's called conservation agriculture, yeah, I yeah. think. If that is not the, maybe it's that's the right word, I don't know. Okay. But using conservation and agriculture, you can plant trees and what in the same farmland, skumawiki, maize. It's okay with the gravel, but not with the eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, if you plant it next to farmland, you have you have killed around 20 meters on that side, 20 okay. meters on this side. You Nothing know, will now, grow. Now I'm getting you because a lot of people, I remember mostly these people, I used to plant eucalyptus in the boundary between him and the neighbor. Some, in some fact, ground. it is advisable. Uh, Serikali, this is what I hear. Serikali, why Kubali, you plant eucalyptus for boundary out. It is not advised because if kwa boundary, if you plant at the boundary there, and that is his farmland, eh, you have killed 20 meters. 20 meters. Of that farm, you cannot, you so cannot cultivate it. If, if in case the farm was so fertile, it will start it depreciating. Will, exactly. Especially if you have a line of eucalyptus along like this. You have killed 20 meters of that guy. So that means the grave area doesn't have uh, any grave effect area in the doesn't farm. affect uh, as much. You see, I've said the eucalyptus, 20 meters. But gravelia less than 5 meters. Wow. Yeah. I see we are going to stop over this video right here because... I've known something, but we are going to come up with a part two of this video where we'll be opening a YouTube channel for him. Guys, this is the real and the best advice. Even you, I know you are going to give me something down in the comments so that he need to have a YouTube channel because he has a very big knowledge that he should divide, give to other people. 
also to learn about this. Guys, thank you very much and keep on watching this video. We are coming next. The part two of the video where we'll be knowing much about the company is working under. We need to talk about your company too. I'm going to wait, work on this after some days. I'm going to come back here so that we have a strong interview, full video with you uh, to talk about the company and the benefit of the company to the community and a lot of the questions. And I think the question whereby you said you'll be giving people at least 30 stands to go and plant will be asking why must you give free. Thank you guys for the video. Much love from Moses family. Deep in the village. Welcome back.